arrived into the Boston area, we're in Gloucester. Gloucester. This is the hometown where Kal Boschniak, who we are filming our next Go Time series on this weekend, uh, this is where he's from. This is where he grew up, his hometown, and he's going to be showing us around. You know, the, the point of the Go Time series is there, there's a similar underlying theme between all of them, and that's uh, overcoming adversity. And Kyle's going to tell his story of his childhood growing up uh, in this area, which can be rough, you know, around the Boston area, you know, the suburbs of one of the world's major cities. And the things that he had to experience and the things he overcame to get to the highest level of mixed martial arts, the, the highest level of fighting. I'm just getting warm right now. Uh, Did you see we're starting? We're gonna be spawning in the cage. I got two seats back there. I think you guys will be out of the way because it gets every from New England is gonna be in here. You can stand on the stand on them, get some good angles. Yeah. We can put the camera on top of the cubbies over there. I mean, you can get some shots right now. As yep. long as you just stay out of the way, yep. you should be fine. I'll be on at 11. Joe's Joe's on at 11. I'll be on at like 11:10. Just gonna do our thing. So, oh. hey, man, Joe, they're going against each other. Yeah. <laughs> They're sparring against each other. Oh, that's why. Joe said the same thing earlier. He's like, yeah, we just get, we don't like pull our punches. We just get a little bit crazy. And they both feel really good. So. Pretty good. I feel like we're just like a different, different kind of breed over here. I don't know what it is, what's in the water, but we just, we just love to fight, man. And we love to train. It's like a, like a hobby. We come, we eat breakfast, we come in, we train hard, we go home, either play video games, watch a movie, <laughs> eat, train again. It's just a part of way, the, the way we are, man. It's just a part of life. Scoot the chair like sideways a little bit, fine. Like towards the wall. Yeah, there you go. So I'm really gonna bring yeah. this down. Oh, no, no, it's I'm gonna, excited. No. Yeah, no, we don't. <laughs> yeah, this 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 piece should be timeless. After you're done fighting, after you're retired, after you you know open your own gym, whatever you decide to do, which you can talk about, this should be a timeless piece for you. So. You guys want to ask anything? Do you feel like there's yeah. anything you want to say? I guess yeah, I should ask that. Say? Like, do you, is there anything you feel like we didn't cover or we didn't ask you? Like, what about you? Um, I think if I would if I would say anything, the the real reason I'm doing this is uh, it's not to get my name out there. It's not to make money. If anything, it's generally to help someone. Don't take this documentary or video as a weakness <laughs> at all. Because it's a, it's a strength to be able to open up and be uh, transparent. And if you think I'm a pussy, watch my fights. <laughs> 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 that, was that, was good. that was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding. Yeah. All right, shutting this off in three, two, one. Good. Dude, you made my job easy. Yeah. <laughs> in contact with the oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 What do you guys want to do? What's the plan? Do you want to stay for the full quarter and go or head out? We were loading up the gear last night and police pulled in. Really? Yeah. <laughs> What'd they say? They're like, uh, what are you guys doing? <laughs> I said, oh, we're just filming Kyle. And they're like, oh, does he have a fight coming up? Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I told you, only the police know. Yeah, yeah they said, is he, is he fighting at the Encore? I said, at the Garden. They're like, no shit, the really? Garden? The Garden? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. yeah, I grew up here. This, you know, my whole youth was this place. This place was amazing. 
Um, like I said, all those sports I played, my mom working three jobs. We didn't know the difference young. We loved this place. We had so many kids growing up on the street. We would be out here playing football, tackle football on the pavement, hockey, manhunt, everything, you name it. We had like 30, 30 kids out here every single, every single night. School night, summer, winter, it didn't matter. These two poles were the end zones, this pole and that pole right there. Nice. Perfect field. Cars were fair game. You can check into them. Fences. <laughs> Fences. <laughs> nice. But uh, yeah, it's, you know, childhood was bright, man. But then, like I said, when I started getting high school, that's where it all t changed. You heard my story yesterday. And um, this joyful, awesome youth, the street right here turned into like a very different, different ground when you have such a like a I don't know some, like a dark moment in your life you kind of want to run away from it hey guys <laughs> you want to run away from it and never look back and it's, it's hard to face it sometimes of what what you did and what, what you've gone through but I like, I kind of like doing it now. <laughs>